the dancing in the aisles, the arms in the air, it could be any old concert. But look a little closer. Is that really a diva which I see before me? These are Whitney Houston fans singing along with someone, something completely new. Whitney Houston died at just 48 in 2012, a career cut short after years of addiction and health problems, shocking many who hoped that one day this powerful voice of pop would be back on stage in all her glory. Now, in a quirk of innovation, many have a chance to celebrate her once more, introducing Whitney Houston, the hologram. This hologram is not just performing here in Sheffield, it's being taken to 11 other cities in the UK and is touring Europe. The image itself is not created from archive of Houston. A choreographer worked with a body double to mirror her movements. We wanted to make sure that we not only hired someone to capture the essence of Whitney, we made sure that the song set list actually laid out so that people can enjoy the best hits from her. This tour has the support of the late singer's family. Her sister-in-law, the CEO of the Whitney Houston estate, says now is just the right time. Yet it is only eight years since Houston was found dead in a bath in a Los Angeles hotel. The cause was accidental drowning. Drug abuse and heart disease were also factors. The coroner said she was a chronic cocaine user. You know, Whitney, in her, her later years, battled a lot of things that a lot of people go through. Um, I think this is kind of just celebrating her life and her legacy and her music that brings us all back to that happy place with Whitney and that um, we all grew up listening to. There are critics who will say there's a fine line between honouring her legacy mm -hmm. and exploiting it and making money out of it. Mm. How do you respond to that? I don't respond to that. I think this is a great way to completely enjoy Whitney's music as a fan, as a lover of Whitney. Um, and I think critics, before they even can speak on it, they need to see the show. The real test for all this tech is how it fares with the punters and whether the hologram can convince fans on a cold, wet night in Sheffield. It's as close as you're ever going to get now to Whitney Houston. I absolutely loved it. I genuinely, I thought it was amazing. I love her music. It was a happy celebration of beautiful music. We paid, don't even sell us, we paid £180 to <laughs> see these tickets. Totally worth it. Yeah. Absolutely and worth a it. Lot if Whitney Houston's life ended in sadness, this first concert surely shows her main legacy, that her hits, her ballads, her otherworldly presence can still bring out the smiles, the sing-alongs, the shimmies, the pure joy. And perhaps that really is something worth recreating.